Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Rashton at torpedopot.com and I now have to take a lot of focused time to grow these tomato plants. We also have uh, celery in the planter also. So we grew celery in the middle of the planters. Come take a look at this. Can you come a little bit closer? I want you to see the celery we just cut out. We, this is our second cutting. I'm really trying to get it to slow down and stop growing but you can't do that because I want my tomatoes to come in. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna keep cutting it down as I need it. And so this is the first cutting. I'm gonna go through each one. I've already cut the centers down, but I'm gonna do it again because right now they're interrupting with my, uh, with my uh, growth of my tomatoes. This one right here, I'm just gonna cut it back. I'm just gonna grab my, in a bunch, just like this. Make sure you don't cut your tomatoes. And we're simply gonna cut it down. All we're gonna do. Let's move to the next one. Okay. Just cut it down. And, and this hasn't grown much. It's about a week since uh, a week and a half since I last cut it, and uh, it's just taken off tremendously. I'm using up a lot of the water that I want to dedicate to my tomatoes. So I normally would would take these out of here because I think they fulfilled their purpose. They put them in another planter. I had them in these planters just to gauge what the, uh, how the planter was performing. I wanted to find out if it can grow this celery, it can grow anything. And as you see, it adds up really fast. And this is just a little bit. This adds up extremely fast. Let's go back, grab the celery, and we're just simply gonna cut it, that's all. This right here, can you see? Almost. We're gonna ball it up, grab all of your celery, Go to the root, and we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it one more time. And I think we practically got all the celery. Now, sometimes what you can do, because the celery is going to use up so much water, you can gauge it and try to pull it out. Because now this new crop of tomatoes are coming in, and I don't want my celery to interfere, so I might transfer it to a different planter now because I don't want it to use up all the water that's dedicated to my tomatoes. So what I do is that I'll start pulling these out. Can you see it? Just slowly. You don't want to be a beast and interrupt the root system. Just twist it and turn it and pull your celery out. Your tomatoes will still be in there. They're still doing fine. You're just simply resettling it. That's all. Okay? So I'm going to resettle all of these celery plants into different planters. Okay, I don't want to disrupt my tomatoes too much. Okay, so I just want to give you an idea of what this looks like. So what we're going to do now is that we have a lot of tomato plants inside of here. I've got to thin these tomato plants out. I've already taken some and put them in other planters. I'm going to take these tomatoes and distribute them all around the property. So that we'll have tomatoes in almost every planter in the property. As long as the planter can sustain the amount of water needed to feed that tomato, then we move forward. I want to give you a good idea because now we have to really seriously consider the crop that we're growing here and it's going to be so exciting at torpedopot.com. Gary Addison, torpedopot.com. Thank you guys.